Here we are at Eden Cemetery in Collingdale, Delaware County, Pennsylvania. This is in the outskirts of Philadelphia. This cemetery is the oldest public African American burial ground and black owned cemetery. This cemetery is the oldest public African American burial ground and black owned cemetery in the United States. This cemetery is the resting place of many unsung African Americans who lived in Philadelphia. Octavius Cato, Rebecca Cole, Julian Abel, and Marian Anderson. She is best remembered as one of the best American contratos of all time. Marian Anderson was the first African American singer to perform at the White House and also the first African American to sing with New York's Metropolitan Opera. Marian Anderson was born on February 27, 1897, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Her parents were African American Christians. All of the Anderson family went to the Union Baptist Church in South Philadelphia that you see in this video as you see at this historical marker that bears her name. She first sang in public when she was six years old. Anderson went to Staten Grammar School. Her family could not afford to send her to high school. They did not have until she was 16 years old. Anderson taught herself to play the piano and violin. The pastor of Anderson's church and other leaders of the black community raised money for Anderson to go to high school and have music lessons. After high school, Marion applied to an all-white music school, the Philadelphia Music Academy. She was rejected for being black. In 1925, when she was 23 years old, Anderson won a singing competition. In 1930, Anderson performed in a Europe for the first time at the Wigmore Hall in London. She liked Europe because people were less racist toward her than there were in the United States. In 1935, she did a concert at the White House. There, she met Eleanor Roosevelt, the wife of Franklin Roosevelt. Eleanor Roosevelt and Anderson were friends for the rest of Roosevelt's life. In 1938, Anderson did a 70 concert tour in the United States. In 1939, the Dars of the American Revolution would not let Anderson perform in the DAR Constitution Hall, or Dar Constitution Hall, to an audience of black and whites. The District of Columbia Board of Education also said that Anderson could not perform at a white high school Charles Edward Russell gave at a meeting in the next day. At the meeting, Marion Anderson's Citizens Committee was formed. The group planned a protest at the next Board of Education meeting. President Roosevelt and Walter White got the Secretary of the Interior, Harold Ickles, to arrange an open-air concert on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial that contained both black and whites. On Easter Sunday, 1939, Anderson performed on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. to a crowd of 70,000 people that contained both black and whites. She started the concert by singing America. She also sung My Country, Tis the V. The concert has been described as having started the civil rights movement for the equality between African Americans and white Americans. A documentary was made for, of the concert. In 2001, the film was added to the Library of Congress. Also, this would inspire a 10-year-old future civil rights leader. That would be Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. In 1943, Anderson was given the 10,000 Book Prize for the City of Philadelphia. She sung at the Constitution Hall. On January 7, 1955, she became the first African American to perform at the Metropolitan Opera. In 1956, she performed there again. In 1957, Anderson's autobiography, My Lord, What a Morning, was published. That year, Anderson also toured in India as an ambassador for the United States. In 1964, she started her last tour. The tour began in the Constitution Hall. In the previous year, she will also sing before an audience on the March in Washington, letting Martin Luther King Jr. give his I Have a Dream speech. And Anderson gave her last concert of the tour and her career in 1965 at Carnegie Hall. In 1991, she was given the Grammy Award for Lifetime of Achievements. She died of congested failure on April 8, 1993 in Portland, Oregon, her, her nephew's home. She was 96 years old. She was buried in Eden Cemetery in Philadelphia. 
Here we will show you her home and her resting place. Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out more of our content. Feel free to give your feedback and suggestions on who we should do next in the comments. This is Infinitely Productions. We love you.